Hi, Hi Arnabies. We're back by popular demand. <laughs> so we have a couple things. Um, we're going to do our monthly edition. Hold, on. Hold that thought. You have a mic on. You oh. don't need to yell. <laughs> Apparently I'm way too loud. Um, we're going to do our monthly edition of the Human Bark Box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Bark Box is the thing we get for dog snacks, but we get, we get one for us with... Uh, different treats and uh, snack <laughs> things from around the world. But first we have a little business to get out of. Um, it's now been about one week since I've started using uh, the new machine that you guys saw me introduce to you. And I have to tell you, it, it's bloody awesome. It's everything I thought it would be. Uh, wasn't a great start when uh, the first day I went to use it. <laughs> It wasn't working. The pump, we couldn't get any water to come out of the pump. So I spent, I was devastated. I was so upset because I waited so long for it. And then I phoned them on uh, the Monday and I just railed on them. And they gave me some ideas. And I actually managed to uh, use what little tools I had to open up the machine and see that the hose from the pump was actually kinked like a garden hose. So once I unkinked it, it worked. And it's just, it's been wonderful ever since. So we had many, many people with suggestions for names. Um, uh, Red Rover, Red Rocket, Big Red, Old Red, Old Yeller. There was all, all kinds of things. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I wanted, I didn't want to, these machines are kind of like your baby. It's like your guys' crochet hook. It's what you use to do what it is you do and to, to make your money and to do the thing. So, um, the one that I got that I liked the most was from Monica Buck. Um, and she said, um, it's red, like a redhead. So how about Lucy or Lucille? So I like that. So I'm going to call it Lucy, call her Lucy. And, uh, we'll come up with a surprise gift for you, Monica, and we'll send it to you. So I guess we need your, uh, contact details. So leave them for Sandy in the comments yeah. and we'll, uh, we'll put something together for you. So. Anyway, Monica. so thank you all. It was really good response and really, really, it's nice that you guys actually miss me and want to see me more often. I, this is Sandy's thing. I don't really feel like I'm, I'm a part of it. I'm just like, you know, Sideshow Bob here, <laughs> um, you know, but uh, whatever. He, he got so many comments. It was crazy. Everybody wants him to do videos with me from now on. I should have my own carpetology channel, you know, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, but... Uh... Um, so, yeah. So, we ha we didn't tell you guys that we were going to be giving a gift to the person of the name that George picked. Uh, we came up with that afterwards, and we just kind of thought, yeah, we're going to surprise you guys. So, congratulations, Monica. We don't know how we're going to fit the automobile into the uh, box <laughs> for um, for the shipping, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so that was great. Uh, he was really hard to live with for a couple of days while the machine was broken. He oh, was, my God. He was like a little boy on Christmas who didn't have batteries yeah, for his Yeah, like toy. you wait four weeks for this thing to come oh. while they build it for you. I put the video on my website bragging about it. Yeah. And I get to my first job and I hook it all up and I'm ready to, to be all impressive with this new thing. And it goes... <laughs> <laughs> little little spit comes out, right? It was so depressing. Oh man! But the phone you, call I got. <laughs> you've got to see this thing when it it sounds like a friggin' hurricane in a box on wheels. Like it, it's loud. It's lo louder than I thought. But there is not much doubt when I'm using this that it's uh, it's doing the job. It's really it's it's a, definitely a game changer. So yeah. So okay, moving on. All right, on. moving on to um, our bark box. It's not the bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well i don't know this one might be like dog food i don't it know it better not be there are some ones in the last one there that were <laughs> but this is a different kind of box now or no the last one was that the balance box i too? don't know yeah i think it was um so here we go here it's called the balance box it is supposed to be like good healthy foods Oh, God, it's going to taste like crap. This is our first balance box, isn't it? This is probably the food that, from all the different countries, that their own kids won't even eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. This when you're giving the... you stuff that even the African children won't eat, then you really know it's got to be. Oh, oh this is this, going to be tough. This is basically kind of like a keto box, but, oh. you know, it's uh, it's so healthy no, foods. It's no like sugar, a vegan. No sugar, no flavor. Vegan style kind of whatever. Cardboard. Really? Sawdust. Have an open mind here. All right. Jeez. So, yeah. So, let's see what's in here. Okay. Wow. It's kind of chocked full here. And I kind of got into this one a little bit oh. more. <laughs> Somebody I may have peaked. already cheated. I peeked. And I, the first things that popped up were ginger snaps. I love my ginger snaps. So, I kind of had to have one. I always like ginger more than Marianne, too. Okay, this is another reason why he call he's calling his machine Lucy now because he loves redheads. So, you know, and so why he's with me, don't know. Oh, well, it definitely smells like uh, gingerbread or ginger. Um, A ginger snap. Ginger cookie. Yeah. Is this, is this like no sugar, no whatever or what? Yeah. It's got probiotics or sorry, prebiotics. Contains insulin di dietary fiber pulled from chicory root. So what the hell is a prebiotic? That's what you do when you're getting ready to biotic, but you have to have them <laughs> first? Or I don't know. <laughs> probiotic means you're in favor of the biotics, and I, prebiotic I no is you're getting ready to biotic, so you have this? I don't know. It's spelt, spelt, spelt? Yeah, spelt ginger snaps, which means that it's a different, it's not flour. That they're Let's using. Let's look at the ingredient. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say it tastes really good. It might have something to do with the fact that there's 23 grams of sugar in this. Oh, really? Glue size, 23 grams. Well, actually, it says That's AO. Carbohydrates. Oh, carbohydrates. Well, sugar is actually eight grams. It's got two grams of fiber. Um, Three grams of fat. Actually, it tastes really, really good. It tastes very much just like ginger cookies. Yeah, because but... it's got just a little bit. You can tell it's not made with like flour, flour, like white flour. It's ma have to made try with another one spelt. to be sure. <laughs> it's made with spelt flour. I think that's called. So. It's really quite good. And where's it from? Well, these ones don't come from different countries. Oh, okay. They're just all over the place. So those are actually pretty good. Okay. The oh, next I can one see is this one's going to be trouble. <laughs> Lebby chickpea snacks. Oh, God. I, have, I just had this conversation with Tia, too, because she's now, um, I keep calling it pescatarian, <laughs> pescatarian, uh, where she doesn't eat meat. She just eats, like, fish. And I said, you know what? I don't think I've ever tried a chickpea. <laughs> so, and you're a chick. So here it is. And yeah, it's a, it says, I am a chickpea snack. <laughs> Gluten-free, dry roasted chickpea. And it's mocha. So that can't be so bad. Non-GMO. Um, 160 calories per 28 pieces. Well, I would imagine this has 28 pieces in it, so. I don't know. Okay, I'll try one. Oh, it says it's kosher, too, for our Jewish friends. <laughs> Jeez, really? It says it. It does say that. It says I'm kosher. <laughs> well, that's interesting. It looks like um, little gob stopper kind of things here. Okay. I'm only going to try one. Okay. Where do you get chickpeas in the wild? Oh, wow. It's actually pretty those good. Those are good. <laughs> it tastes like those, um, what you call them? What are those? Um, oh, caramel um, and whatever. Bridges mixture. Yeah, Bridges mix. Pure stuff. <laughs> Little chocolate covers, some are toffee, some are peanuts or whatever. No, they're actually really good. It's actually not bad. That's two good ones in a row. I'm getting concerned. There must be some real <laughs> crap coming up. Wow. Yeah, 
I really like that. Okay. That's, mm hmm We might actually be eating some of this stuff. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here, oh, this one George won't eat because it's coconut. Oh, can't eat coconut. And it's quinoa. <laughs> Definitely can't eat this one. Coconut quinoa bar. Think, eat differently. Real food. Plant-based protein. High fiber. No flavor. <laughs> there you go. And this is the same? This oh, yeah, a, it is. This is a lemon one. Oh, so he, oh, I don't like lemon. He likes lemon. All right, I'll try this one. It's okay, also so plant-based as well. Okay, so there's that one. So here you go. Look All at that. All right, well, that, that's one fair. One for him, one that's for fair. me. Mm. I bought these. Buddha oh, they look like ugly-ass granola bar <laughs> things. So look at that. <laughs> this is what they look How like. How on earth do they make that? Oh, you can really smell the lemon in his. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's like the world's <laughs> worst eat more bar. Oh, yuck. What did they used to say on a living color? Hated it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was not no. good. No. Oh, that was... Oh, we that could, was really horrible. We could give it to the homeless guy, but he probably wouldn't eat it either. That was oh, oh, drink, drink. That had it. Mm, it's it did actually taste like cardboard. It tastes exactly like it. It's described. It. Tastes, you will definitely eat differently if you, <laughs> if you eat this. <laughs> That was, oh, that was not good. That was, mm -mm. Two winners and one loser. What oh, next? Uh, wow. Okay. Oh, we know these ones time. are going to be good. So we got some vegan white cheese puffs. Because a lot of people don't know this, but cheese is, is actually not a vegetable. <laughs> um, oh, they're made from freaking quinoa. What is it with quinoa? <laughs> Who the hell discovered quinoa? Christopher Columbus or what? <laughs> Everything's quinoa. <laughs> Jeez, oh, man. What is this? Oh. I don't even want to see how they make it after the last experience. Okay. I think Sandy's got to try this one. <laughs> I happen to really like quinoa. Oh, man. I can't. <laughs> can't even open it. I don't do fine motor skills. This is a fine motor skill. Okay. Wow. Okay, it looks like a... They look cheesy. like little cheesies. It looks like a cheesy. Oh. It's actually really quite good. See? It's very cheddary. Wow. It's made with real vegetable cheese. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's a good one. We have three winners and one loser so far. I'm going to have another one. <laughs> See? Um. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, Oregon. Oregon oatmeal. Wheat and gluten-free cookie. It's called Wow. I hope it's a wow. <laughs> There's two of them in here. All right. Can we just try the same one, or do we have to each try one? Yeah, they're both. Bo oh they're no, they're both the same. They've got raisin in them. Oh, can't can't eat it. Got raisins. Yeah, George doesn't do raisins. I was abused with raisins as a child, so. Good grief, really. It's a long story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mother lied to me. She would try to get me to. She tried to get me to eat raisins, and I told her I don't like raisins. So then my mother, my mother, who I. I believed every word she ever told me, said to me, they're not raisins, they're shrunken grapes. So I was eating them and going, mm, I don't know. But because they were shrunken grapes, I kept eating them because my mother would never lie to me and give me raisins. <laughs> and then my sister told me they were actually raisins because I was an idiot and I was eating them. <laughs> and I was so appalled that my sacred mother 
would lie to right to my face and tell me they're shrunken grapes. So ever since then, I can't have raisins. I was so traumatized as a child. I've never forgotten that. <laughs> that was almost 50 years ago that happened. Oh my God. Actually, it was more than 50 years smell ago. Them. They, they're really, they smell really they good. They smell very much like real oatmeal cookies. They're, yeah, really good. But they, good. they killed them by putting raisins in them, and that's, that's too bad. Mmm. All right, Sandy. They're really will, good. Sandy will eat those while I continue on, to eat the cheese puffs. This part doesn't have any raisin in it. Yeah, the oatmeal cookie part tastes good. If you just get the stupid mm -hmm. raisins out and put chocolate <laughs> chips in, you might have something there. That's really good. Mm hmm They're very moist. It's really good. I'm He's still eating the, the cheese puffs. puffs. <laughs> They're quite good. All right, so now we got some pita chips. Whew. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We've got... Another bar. Just some more here. granola. I don't want to do the. This has raisins in it too. Yep, can't eat it. Shrunk and grapes. But... <laughs> it doesn't even have anything on it that tells you what it is. It's like. It looks like some kid just made something for a project at school. <laughs> it's got like peanuts and granola stuff, and but it doesn't tell you anything about it. Okay. So I don't know. These, these cheese puffs are really good. <laughs> You're going to eat the whole thing, I right probably now. am going to eat the whole thing. Okay. Oh, let's try this first. No, I can't eat the fruit bars either. Yes, you can. No. Yes, you can. He doesn't eat anything fruit. I, that should have been a deal breaker when we got together. I'm a carnivore. I eat meat and potatoes. This is, it's called Wild Made. It's a tropical fruit roll up. It, it looks just like her. Looks like it's just a roll up, fruit roll up. I grew up with fruit, fruit roll ups. Back then, I think they called it fruit leather. And oh, they were so good. They were so good. My dad used to buy me like a case of them. They were awesome. And it looks. You don't want any more of these just, before I eat them all? <laughs> like you care. <laughs> You're just going to eat them anyway. They look exactly like the old fruit leather. Hmm. They taste like it too. Memories of childhood oh, floating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you can still get those at Safeway. That's where I used to get them all the time. Hmm. Except they get stuck in your teeth. Are you like... Are... <laughs> He's eating a whole bag right now. It's all gone. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheese pups. Best thing in here so far. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Right. Wow. Glad right, I got I to enjoy that. I didn't have any lunch. Okay. Here we go. You see, that's the big one. What's this? I don't know. These are lozenges. Oh, wow. It's a, like a cough candy. Huh. Honey bee, honey oh. lozenges. Honey lozenges. Huh. Well, isn't that so interesting? So they not only gave you some really interesting snacks, but they give you, <laughs> you know, med medicine and cures. Too. Wow. Interesting. Okay. So these Next are week, we're going to get the acupuncture box. <laughs> Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. <laughs> Cedar Valley Selections Pita Chips made with 100% coconut oil. Uh oh, coconut. It says seven simple ingredients. And it's classic spice. That mm. was one of the Spice Girls. There was Scary Spice, <laughs> Classic Spice. What was the other one? <laughs> oh, don't even. Mel A and Mel B or C and. <laughs> don't even. They give you a whole bag like this, but it's only half full. Mm. I hate that. It's all in the packaging. I hate that. Okay. okay, so it looks like just a plain chip. Funny looking. This is, this is gonna be really loud. Corn chip. Okay. Yeah, that's spice. 
This tastes like nothing to me. There's no taste to it whatsoever. There's a little bit of a spice. Yeah, there's nothing. Wow. I can taste the coconut oil. Cardboard. But that's it. There's like no no taste at all. No. Nope. I just taste the coconut oil. All right. So if we do that our... That was terrible. Yeah, no. So quick review. Wow. Not a big fan of those. <laughs> the, the, the puffs are the best thing in here so far. I wouldn't know. I got to eat one. Well, we haven't tried the lozenges, but we probably will save them until one of us actually has a cold. <laughs> um, the chickpeas were actually really quite good. Yeah. We both like that. Both like the ginger snaps. Yeah. Um, absolutely hated these horrible granola bar things yeah. that were made mm -hmm. by... No. Probably evil Amish kids or something. Who the I'm, hell makes that? That's horrible. And, uh, and the ginger snaps. We like the ginger snaps. They were really quite good, too. I haven't tried this thing with, that has no thing on it. But It's like any Halloween candy without a label. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> well... I don't know if that's sesame seed or bird seed. <laughs> I don't know. Seriously, look, does that not look like bird seed? <laughs> no. Look at this. Does that. Oh. But does it taste good? It's. Very peanutty. Oh. It's not there, horrible. There's no raisins in it? Down here. Oh, okay. I'll try a little piece. It's actually really good. It's not bad. It's got like honey or something on it, so it's got a bit of sweet sweetness to it. Yeah. It's basically <laughs> just like melted honey peanuts, and then they had to bugger it up by putting stupid <laughs> raisins in it. If we just keep all the raisins out of, the, out of all this stuff, it'd you know be so what? much better. I, I bet you anything a subscriber is going to send you some paint, some uh, raisins you know, now just to just to toy with you. There are some really <laughs> evil people in the world. Walt Disney, because um, he says traumatize all the kids with what? Bambi's mom and the Lion King and oh. <laughs> all of that. There's the idiot really? that invented Kool-Aid. A, a kid's drink that if you spill it in on anything, it's got to die that nobody in the world can get out. So there's that guy, and it's the person that puts raisins in everything. He's he's up there too, <laughs> especially like cinnamon buns. Why would you screw up a perfectly good cinnamon bun cinnamon by putting buns raisins are in it? My with God! Raisins. It's oh, just... it's terrible. Oh. So anytime I make cinnamon buns, which I haven't done in a long time, and she makes just little teeny ones. Yeah, I make big ones. Bigger's better. <laughs> yeah. We we actually were um. Sandy was baking them and was posting online and people were coming to the house and buying them and she had a yeah. a little little side business going and um, just when it really took off, that's when Sandy stopped doing it, <laughs> which is kind of how it works with her. Sandy's a great planner and creator and yeah. getting the business thing off the ground, but once it actually starts to really work, that's when she doesn't want to do it anymore. That's kind of <laughs> how it goes. The, yeah. only, the only exception has been crochet has been about the only thing that she's um, really stuck to for any length of time, so. Yeah. Huh. Anyway. So, all in all. Most of it was good. Most of it was good. A couple of things that we didn't, well, we really didn't like the granola bars. Other than that. Well, I um, mean, these chips. And I these mean, chips sure, are. I can't believe there's absolutely no taste in these Yeah, it whatsoever. just tastes like nothing. If but you, that's just really If shocking. you got nothing and cut it into little squares and sprinkled some stuff on it, you get those. <laughs> So I'm thinking if I dip them in something, then maybe they'd be okay. Yeah, they're like the plainest, plainest, plainest never, chip that you could ever yeah, even think of. I have never been, had anything that tastes like nothing. That's weird. Almost like rice crackers in a way. Hey, I love my but rice crackers. But similar sort of idea where it's just like, you know, there's really no flavor to it. There's some flavor but, um, in rice crackers. Sadly, the cheese puffs are no more. Um, yeah. they, they should give you a much bigger bag of those. Um, Apparently he liked them. The chickpeas are pretty good. Yeah. And the ginger snaps are good. So Yeah, so it wasn't bad. I would rate this a better one than the last one. The last one there was only a yeah. couple of things in there that we liked. <laughs> that so, was terrible. That one was um, awful. Holy and man. I guess next month we'll see what, what we get next month. So Yeah. 
Anyway, so thanks for joining us. Did we have any other announcements or anything? Um, did we? I don't think so. Um, I don't know. Just, just the winner for the contest. So Lucy is the name of the new machine, Lucy or Lucille. Lucy when she's really good, Lucille when I'm mad at her kind of thing, <laughs> I guess. But, here, um, but no, it's um, it's interesting to use something that's different than that, what you've used before. There are a lot of things that I like about it. I mean, um, the, the vacuum Nobody power <laughs> is just unbelievable. But there's, you know, it's a bit more set up, a bit more teardown than my other stuff and and all of that. And one thing that really frustrates me is they put the, um, where you put the clean water onto the back of the machine. So when you tilt the machine to put it in the van, you end up <laughs> spilling it all down the front of you. So I'm walking around with perpetually, money to see that. perpetually wet shoes all day because you can't get your feet back fast enough. So my left shoe in particular <laughs> is just like squish, squish, squish wherever I go. But um, that would be really funny. Other than that, and then the fact that I look like I've peed my pants all day if I don't get back quick enough. So people look at you a little funny when you show up looking like you wet yourself to their yeah. hearts to, to clean their carpets. So yep. anyway. anyway. Okay, guys. Well, that's everything. That's that's it for the so the balance box. The balance box. So um, It was pretty good. Yep. So Sandy will continue on with her, her uh, videos. And mm -hmm. I don't think I've got a carpet trail coming up anytime soon I can think I can't really think of anything that's interesting or funny or exciting that's that's happened mm. um this whole COVID thing has just kind of put a kink in well it's, it's just not normal like I've been very busy like since about the 14th of August here yeah. it's like the whole, like all of a sudden the light switch turned on and now all of a sudden everybody's listing their house and they're moving and they're doing stuff so basically I've had a good six or seven week run <clears> of 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 really good weeks and stuff and i'm happy but our weather's definitely turning we had a very yeah. winter like day yesterday where just rain and rain and cold and blowing yeah. and horrible and then today it's sunny and nice and we had our first uh fireplace yeah, we had the fire on place on last night yes it was actually kind of he was cold freezing cold i was hot i was in shorts and a t-shirt <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And he was all bundled up, and that's I, not like him. I was being the woman, I guess, where I'm yeah, cold feet was, and cold hands. and It was crazy. But uh, so, anyway. But yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. I, I lit a fire. He lit a fire. Sandy lights my fire. <laughs> okay, then. We're going. <laughs> so thanks okay. for joining us, We'll see guys. you next week or next month. <laughs> Bye. Okay, bye.